My name is Gavin Evans and this is my review of Forget Paris and there'll be some spoilers so there's your warning. But this is a movie that I was actually really looking forward to watching just because When Harry Met Sally is one of my favorite movies ever. I think it's the perfect romantic comedy and I think Billy Crystal is just fantastic in it. So the fact that there was another romantic comedy starring Billy Crystal, I'm like, you know what, it could be a surprisingly good gem. So I was looking forward to it and unfortunately it's nowhere near the quality of When Harry Met Sally. In fact, it's not even a good movie. Billy Crystal is good though, he's definitely the best part of it, he's really funny when he needs to be, and there are some funny moments in this movie, like there's one scene where he's trying to get to a hospital really fast and I thought that scene was quite funny. And I do like what this movie's trying to do, it's not trying to be your typical romantic comedy, it's trying to show two people who desperately love each other but are just in an imperfect marriage. And I just wish they pulled that off better because I just never felt the romance. I thought the two main characters had zero chemistry. Like he's funny and she's cute. But Deborah Wingo as a character was just very underwhelming. You know, whenever Billy Crystal makes some sort of joke, she laughs at it. But I prefer it when they have some sort of banter and I feel like she was just lacking any bit of personality. And it just, I just didn't see the appeal with her character and when the entire movie is built on the foundation of this romance and it doesn't work, then by default the movie doesn't work and like I said there'll be some spoilers but when they get together at the very end at the basketball game, it was just a terribly written moment. Billy Crystal's just like, you know what, I'm going to Paris and then he storms out and then she just shows up and I don't know, it, it just, I like my cheesy endings, but this one just, no, it, it really didn't work for me. I didn't find it to be romantic or sweet. It's n definitely nowhere near the quality of the ending of When Harry Met Sally. That is one of my favorite movie monologues ever. It just makes me smile and tear up every time. It's so pure, so good. This movie, no way. And yes, I'm comparing it to When Harry Met Sally. Sometimes comparisons can't be helped, but also you can tell while watching this movie that it's trying so hard to recapture that magic. With some of the editing and music choices, you can tell that it's trying to be like When Harry Met Sally and it just falls flat in that regard. Billy Crystal I like as an actor, but as a director, He's not all too good. I haven't seen his baseball movie, but I saw the one movie he directed with Tiffany Haddish. It was not good. It was not well directed. And that's the case with this movie too. The guy should stick to acting. Because, yeah, I don't think he does a good job here. There was a unique structure to this movie where it's focusing on a group of friends as they tell the story of Billy Crystal and Deborah Wingo's characters. And I'm just like, okay, that's something different. Just a few friends talking about their other friends. There's something about it that actually feels really personal that I quite liked. You know, it's like when you get together with a friend you haven't seen in a long time and you're catching up with the people in your life and you're telling them about a story about your friend and it just had that nice anger to it. But that said, I really didn't like the last minute of this movie and I know this is nitpicky, but... Like everyone's happy that they're back together and they're going to make things work. And then Billy Crystal goes like, here's to my dad because without him we wouldn't have met. And everyone drinks. And then they're like, well, you're probably wondering what the deal was with that toast. Well, let me tell you a story. It's supposed to be a cute note for this movie to end on. Well, they spent the entire movie listening to this story and now it's going to get repeated to them. But if I was their friends in that situation, I would get up and leave. Who are you to make some kind of random toss that's very niche, very unclear, and then be like, let me tell you this super long story that explains why I made that toss. It would annoy the hell out of me. I'd be like, I'm not interested. I don't care. Shut your mouth. 
But yeah, so I wish I liked this movie better. I like what it's trying to do. It does have some funny moments. Billy Crystal is good, but the romance was just too lacking to me. I never actually cared about these two characters and hoping they end up together. Deborah Wingo's character just lacks any bit of personality. And yeah, it's unfortunately not good. So I'm going to go ahead and give Forget Paris a 4 out of 10. Ironically, I'm going to forget Forget Paris. <laughs> but anyways, have you seen Forget Paris? What did you think about it? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for some more videos soon. And Gavin.